Hey, I'm Nick Gamer. Welcome back to PCM 23 Lions episode 100 and 2. Before we continue on with our bold journey to try to win the UAE Tour with a couple of stages to go and just four seconds to snatch away to do just that, we have another race on the calendar that has popped up and needs taken care of. It's one that our chances are incredibly slim, but not impossible. I'm going to get that cobbled classics are our biggest weakness as a team as we hit our second uh, cobbled sector of the day and this one probably the e well not probably that is the easiest cobbled sector of the day this is not an impossible task where Perube or the Arande are impossible <laughs> impossible tasks for us to try to come out on top of those at our best we've got a single rider with a 71 base couple rating put him on a plus five race take condition he could do better but you need support and support's been hard to come by here it's mostly flat it's considered a sprint stage but it's not totally flat there's plenty of undulation and then there's cobbles, and not the easy cobbles, but also not the hardest cobbles. We're in a kind of a weird scenario here where you're getting a little bit of both worlds. You're getting the tough, but you're also getting not the hardest scenarios. On the right day, under the right circumstances, you get a a potential sprint finish with a large bunch. That's what we're hoping for. Not that we would do well there as we're not built for a sprint. But that's our best chance to be in the group and use a sprint train and push and maybe squeeze out a top 10 or get multiple guys in the top 20. So far though, it's not leaning that direction. But one direction it needs to lean right now even though we are not bad off on water we need to go get water we're inside that 120k mark so we only have to do it one more time and this is our best break the rest of the way so there, there's another one where there's undulation but no cobbles that will uh, look to get water that final time in the meantime though so far today right now it's not bad right now it's not bad at all pace has really lifted a fair bit but throughout the stage before i started the recording the breakaway, which was 9, was never allowed more than a minute 10 over the group. And they were put heavily under pursuit. And they were finally breaking up. They were finally growing weak and lifting their pace just a little bit. And the field closed them right down. Touched the back of the group after the episode started here. Touched the back of the group. And then instantly sat up. And those same riders just continued to ride off. Got joined by a couple more, and here we are catching them again. So for the first time all day, we had a little break there for a handful of kilometers where we rode easy. It's not been an easy stage. And you can see our domestiques, all three of them are already quite weak. As now just two riders ride off. Are we going to be more comfortable with that? Is this the time to maybe try to... Well, we don't have anybody cobble rated enough to be able to hang in there and do something like that. You're very much a survive and hang on in the group and don't be the ones to do the work type team under these circumstances. But for the first time, we really do have some separation for our breakaway riders as we enter our first four-star sector of the day. You can see guys like Bari and Bosco, Tillahoon, barely making it through that supporting their team leaders. But with just 90k to go, even though the breakaway is finally being allowed to stretch the lead, we already see an acceleration because there's just 90k to go. So now it's time for the race to be on. Very little rest, meaning the circumstances are not ripe for a sprint finish at this point. It's looking like we're probably going to have a very small group. In fact, we were already starting to see the yo-yo of groups losing contact with the front of the field and our 80 effort that we're putting in now to try to hold position well that, that's not going to work for too much longer but we've only got one cobbled sector uh, for the next while 
and that's going to help us out a bit as you know we actually did seem to sit up again and let that breakaway get back out to two minutes so we seem to change our mind here in the last few kilometers from where we were and we're getting recovery for Tillahun, Bari and Bosco all recovering a bit okay here we go it's only a three-star sector it's a double three-star sector actually But the pace isn't that bad right now. I mean, that breakaway just added 45 seconds to their gap over the field. Made it a lot easier. Bari, Tillahun, Bosco, not great through that sector, but it was far less severe than it could have been. Uh, hold on, hold on, sorry. Tillahun, 75K. It's a, it's a little early, but not terribly early. Uh, this is our time to get water. One final time for this race, and then we'll be done. Good timing on that part. We are seeing splits in the field, though. That yo-yo is beginning, and some of those groups are not going to regain contact eventually. More and more, there are a few riders dropping off permanently off the back. Very quick, very minor cobbled sector there. Tillahun's actually struggling. This is his first race here with the senior team. New rider for the team. He is a future classics guy. But he's very, very much the rookie right now, who's got a long ways to go until he gets there. So for now, domestique it is. Okay, hold the horses. 60k to go, and Bahri? Yeah. Bosco? Yeah. We're pulling those guys back and splitting the field. The reason being, there's only 60k to go, and so somebody, Jumbo Visma apparently, is putting the field under pressure and 80 is no longer going to suffice even though we've got a little ways till we hit that next cobbled sector but it looks like we're gonna have to start putting the foot down now Let's see Bari Tillahun going backwards now Bosco is gonna start to go backwards uh, for the moment the peloton has 18 riders in it as these guys have lost contact that's far too much firepower behind to be a permanent thing There's that front group coming back, already reeled in. Those guys were only off the front for, what, like 40k? Two remain. Now we have a peloton of 42. That's actually looking a little more likely to be able to stay away and let the yo-yo be the thing, be the permanent group. Uh, 44 now as we do catch the breakaway. Did we sit up? We sat up. Oh, that's a surprise. We caught those guys and then sat up. All right, 50K, and we're getting into uh, the penultimate tense zone. There's two big climbs cobbled right before the end, but in the lead up to that, this is going to be the tricky section. Uh, it is all back together. Bari, Tillahun have recovered a little bit, but we need to put our foot down and hold position a lot better now. Two stars is no big deal, but uh, you get three more sectors coming up in the next little bit. And more and more riders starting to break away. But now Jumbo Visma and others starting to begin their chase. Or is that Jumbo Visma attacking? Well, Bahrain is, uh, Bahrain Victorious is chasing, so. Again, we see a split. Small group at the front. Bari Tillahun have made it to the middle of the pack, but that's as far as they are. Actually, we're looking at a peloton of 34 as it yo-yos yet again. Let's we'll make a decision about the final four. Two to protect. Two to work. We'll see this next cobbled sector, see how bad it is. We might pause before it and make that selection. Right now, the uh, no, no longer are any riders protected. Uh, I think the four can all handle themselves through here. Lottery looking a little bit weaker than the others. Uh, that was a front rider who had crashed. Again, the field splits. Now it's just 33. Three minutes to the very, very front rider. They might have a winning move on their hands. But we're down to 80 and or just 30 riders left in contention. As five riders go clear of... 
the group here. That was not leaders as far as I know. But they're saying front. Is it leaders? Kanye is great cobbled and flat, but not good otherwise. DeWolf. There's a theme with these guys. There's a different ad. Von Brawl is one of them, and a sprinter in Watson. Yes, that is a group that's a threat, but I don't have firepower to be chasing. I only have four guys, and there's absolutely no strength. We're, like I said, this has got to be survival territory for us. We're just aiming for, hoping for being alive, being in it, and being able to squeeze out a top 10. Now, once again, we see separation. Lottering is going to have to gel and pick a leader. That's got to be Kareem, right? Shimwe needs to work for Careless, right? The guys that are freshest. Careless would not be the strongest rider, but with his plus four race take condition, which we actually had a negative draw today. We have three guys on fitness peaks. Should have had a plus nine. We got nowhere near it. And we're catching that group of five with only a single rider left off the front, meaning it's it's uh, it's back on. 18k to go. Not being the effort to hang on as we go through a three-star hill sector. Shimway should absolutely help us with that, but lottering is toast. 44 left in contention, chasing down one rider who's got a minute and a half advantage. And there goes Lottering and a Shimway, and there's a big split. Whoa, hold on. Oh! Kareem punctures. Kareem punctures right at the end of the cobbled zone here, and it's down to just careless. He gets going again, but he is left behind. And we'll have to put him on auto there. He's not that far behind. It's a group of 18 with three at the front. Careless at least in contention for something. All he's got to do is get through this. The Bossberg. Four riders get a slight advantage, but just 10 chasing. Now Bar uh, Bari punctures as well. Kareem on his own chasing. The rider ahead of Carolus, Fomin, sat up, created separation. Carolus barely anything left in the tank after uh, after the hard chase here, but it does come back together. Oh, don't, don't, don't! Come on, Van Hoydonk splits off, and then Carolus tries to overtake him and keep contact. Burnt the last of it, his energy, and he's gonna miss out on a top ten. Five k to go. And here is Kareem going mostly solo and still riding better than Careless. Losing our leader right at the end like that is so harsh. And there's literally 10 riders ahead. We're riding for 11 through 15. Uh, too late now. Top 10 is not happening. There's no firepower in this group. And Careless just getting a little recovery, having enough to be able to try to sprint to aim for 11th is all we can do. 1k to go. Germain takes the win, though. That's a big win for the Eritrean as careless. Attacking for the end. We'll get 11th, maybe, maybe. The throw to the line, he might get overtaken for 12th. But Van Hoidonk gets him on the sprint to the line. Van Hoidonk's pretty decent as a sprinter, so 12th it is. Uh, the beating Kanya, who was in that break that we saw. A uh, bit disappointing there, but Kareem, how are we doing? 900 meters. In a group of 12, where's these 12 at? Sprint, Kareem, sprint. Wow, that was really delayed from him, wasn't it? That was incredibly delayed. He waited a good 200 meters before he got out of the saddle and started pedaling hard after we hit sprint. 26th in the end, easily could have had about 21st, about five spots better. He's still got some points out of that 26th place finish. Shimwe was 41st. We nearly get a top 10 out of a race that a top 10 was, we were going to be hard pressed to get. Kareem was the guy who was best placed for it. And that puncture, very late. I mean, it was the penultimate cobbled sector. And he had 15 meters left to get out of it before having one last sector to go. And nobody else punctured. Like, he was the only one. 
and then Bari got to the same place and had a puncture. But nobody else was getting punctures. Nobody else was falling. We got the bad luck. Overall, still a good result, though. On to our project at the UAE Tour to try to steal the win away from Frischnecht. Arab needs four seconds to equalize, five to overtake him. We have four intermediate sprints in these last two stages as our only opportunities as we're not going to win the stages themselves. We're not going to podium with a 61-74. Not happening. Even with a good race day condition, there's no way that's happening. But Nuna, nothing to gain from trying to get after seconds. He's way too far behind McNulty to get on the podium. However, Samuels is one second away from a top 10. He is four seconds away from ninth. So Samuels could also gain something. Arab's the more important one, but following that up, we're gonna to try to have Samuels right behind him as we're sprinting. So if we can, we'll get three and two seconds at intermediate sprints. That means we need to keep the Peloton in control or the breakaway under control. There's going to be a break. There's going to be riders trying to go. You could push really hard and stop that from happening, or you could just make sure that the breakaway never gets firmly established, never gets enough numbers, never gets enough of an advantage so that when the time comes, you just set up an intermediate sprint and you push and go after it. The worry, of course, is that the sprinters are going to want those three two-in-one points, potentially, and that they're going to go after it if that's the case, or maybe you get Frischnecht and his team countering if they realize what's going on. In all likelihood, we could do this. At the moment, we're actually getting nice help and support from others, but as they get us down to a single breakaway rider... The advantage is there, the push is there, the other set up, we take over, and now we get new guys attacking, which they would be attacking anyway once it's down to the one rider. So you just got to keep an eye on it and just counter all the attacks with steady moves. Right now I've got three guys kind of setting a steady tempo that's a little bit too fast for a breakaway to get formed, but not so fast that they don't want to attack or that we burn ourselves out. For now we got 30k to go to keep this thing under control with... You can just see how weak the attacks are at the moment. So things are, for now, going brilliantly. Uh, we do want to make sure that Arab and Samuels are protected. But Nuna, he's got a plus four. He's going to be just fine. Arab's probably going to be just fine anyway. Uh, actually, I'm wondering if any of them need to be protected. But Nuna certainly doesn't. He's got a 79 flat today. I think protect your leader. Arab, make sure he's fresh. And Samuels, just follow him. There you go. And that gives us one domestique to help. Three guys to make the push. Two riders away. They have a one minute advantage. We're down to 18 kilometers. And they're actually, they've pulled it out a little bit further, those two riders. Uh, let's check in real quick. What do we have? It's Rhoda, who's a 73. It's Schmid, who's a 74. They have decent flat ratings, but they're going to have to push really hard. They are pushing really hard right now, uh, but we're going to have to push even harder to start pulling this back. It's only 15k. Right now, there's one second on offer that could easily be taken. I'd be okay if we get just one second here. One second is one second. It's something. And those two could easily be broken by the time we get to the other intermediate sprint uh, and be pulled back then and get four seconds of it today. We'd only need one more to overtake them, or we'd find out about the tiebreaker and if we're ahead. 104k left, but 9k till the intermediate sprint. And the gap is starting to come down rather quickly, so we've tired them out. 7k down to a minute 10 it's coming down quick okay here we go 7k sprint train time uh yeah we're gonna burn through these guys it's okay we're gonna go much faster we'll start with an 88 and oak peters and musa and then that puts arab and samuels behind it banuna Other teams are coming up though as these are these sprinters. It's 4K. 
All right, Jansen, full push, 3K. Uh, we want to get on to Daniels. Come on. No, we're getting swarmed. Look at all these sprinters that are going for it, though. They're, like, there's nothing here. We've caught the break, but look at all those sprinters going for it. There, there's only three points to be had here. Morrill is a sprinter, has just 15 points. He's 33rd in the classification. Really? The lie is 7th. Bertomesso, you can see him going for it. He is a sprinter, and he sits second in the green jersey. But Krusa, like, what are you, why are you guys wasting your energy on this? Most of these guys have absolutely no business doing this. Philipson is close enough, you can see him getting in on it. That There's two guys in that bunch. Start the rest. I would put him in the break, but they're not going to let him go, right? Are they? Let's see what happens if Arab attacks. Will they let him get a lead? Can he go get three seconds this way? Thirty-two second advantage. 30k. Can he handle 30k out front? 37 seconds. 42 seconds. Gap is growing. 49 seconds. Okay, start measuring our effort here. 54 seconds. As soon as he comes back to the group, we can uh, recover. If we can't win a sprint because they all want to go for it, <laughs> first off, let's. Uh, these guys were letting them recover, but we do need water. Arab can go get his own. 26k, he's already down on energy. Pretty dang low here. Easing off. Will that gap hold? 54 seconds. It's starting to come down. 21k to go. Again, all we have to do is put him under protection if he gets back in the group. It's a sprint stage. It's not like he's going to get dropped. 58 seconds. 15k. Somebody has escaped. That's okay. That gives us protection. Okay, we've got to contribute. Right together. 34 seconds. Come on, this guy is writing but not writing. He's writing but not writing, and we're not overtaking him. We're putting in a higher effort and not. Dude, fake writing in front of us, and the gap just came plummeting down. Now he wants to work. 11 seconds. 4K. Gel. This is our race right here, right now. 3K. Checking in behind us. Uh, we wanted Sam. Well, you know the sprinters are going to go for it, but let's try to, if we can, be set. Really? We're riding an 88, and you're like, let's work. Oh, 2K to go, and he gets caught. And there go the sprinters again. Not this stage. Nothing cheeky here. Except the guy who caught up to us and cheekily cost us 20 seconds. And I'm like rapidly trying to improve the effort and nothing doing. One stage, two intermediate sprints to go. 
all these sprinters who aren't even in the sprint classification are dozens of points behind mathematically already eliminated going for it anyway just chaos what about that last stage though will they still care on the last stage maybe not maybe by that point they'll actually see that they're eliminated Philipson or somebody who's high placed goes and wins the stage today collects the 20 points and truly eliminates them because they're still 40 on offer so all you had to do was be within you know 40 to have a chance plus intermediate sprints so what we need now is Brutomesso, Philipson, Delay, and no one else we actually what we really need is you know you need like Brutomesso and or Philipson to just go and win the stage and be that 20 plus points ahead of like everybody um so that there is no competition to be had here at the end nothing to do it for us we are not going to finish in the top 10 we're not going to finish on the podium we're not sprinters final 3k let's go everyone up Sprint it out. Delay got a good start. Jakobsen, Philipson, Krusa coming on. Krusa? I think Krusa is going to take it. He does. And the key guys missed out. They went too early. Philipson, Delay, Jakobsen all end up down 7, 8, 9, getting overtaken as they went too early. Frischneck was 13th. Uh, Era was 19th. Brutomesso, not even in the top 20. What's that going to do with points classification? So Koiz, Krusa, and Schuster, 21 to 20 each. Uh, so like, like not much gaps here, but what's what's it look like overall? We're talking about 20 and then 3 and 3. So a 26-point gap would eliminate anyone beyond that. I think that's our best hope on getting somewhere, but here we are now with Philipson, Frischneck, Koish, Schuster, within five points. Delice within nine. Bruno Messo is within 10. Cruza within 13. McNulty, Sakup still at 22. That's still within range. Vinther, Jakobsen, 23 points, 25. There's, there's your cutoff. 14th and there's our two guys and like McNulty Freshnecked probably not interested not a sprinter so you've got maybe four out of 14 that aren't going to be interested which means we've got 10 guys that could still go for it 10 guys that can still win it this last stage it's not happening there's no way that they're going to give us what we need we tried two alternatives. We tried to control the peloton. The sprinters swarmed us. We were hoping that we would have the math. The sprinters, there's still too many of them in contention for the final stage. We tried breakaway. They wouldn't let us go. I think it didn't even necessarily have to do with the fact that it was Arab who attacked. They get had everything to do with because they intentionally caught him right before the sprint. They put their foot down and caught him right before the sprint. The guy who came up there with us... He did us dirty and probably killed our chances of staying ahead for that. But even then, I think the chase was on. I think they were intent on catching anyone in the break before that intermediate sprint, even though there's only three points on offer. It's a close enough competition with only 20 at the finish line that it did just come down to the finish. Those three points seem to matter just enough, which is going to happen on the next stage. So... Folks, it's not happening. Arab's going to finish second, but Nuna is fourth. Samuels is 11th. They are not giving up. Sukup took the stage win ahead of Koj and Jakobsen. Uh, no changes in the overall for the points. It's Philipson who wins by a single point over Koj. Then Delay, uh, we had two guys in the top 11. Arab does win the King of the Mountains. Frischneck, though, 
was also in the under 25s. He is just 23 years of age, so he wins the under 25. We sweep the rest of the podium, and actually the top four had no also into the top 10, but we did get the team classification. It was a really good race. It would have been better had we been able to sneak that win away, but it was clear under the circumstances that the intermediate sprints were going to be contested by the sprinters. They weren't going to have any of it, so... Uh, why bother on that last stage? Let's move on to something else. And we're at Strata Bianchi. Let's get racing. This is such a huge race. Absolutely love, love this race. It's it's easily in my top three favorites. Uh, Peru Bay, number one, though. But yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> we're not a team built for this type of race, though. Um, but the undulation part, we're pretty good with. It's that gravel, 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 and then the final climb. <laughs> the final cobbled climb as we lose a guy right off the bat. A lot of ring. A lot of ring is making progress towards contact, but not by much. There's only five riders off the front, and there's only two guys chasing, but they're chasing them pretty hard. Almost in contact here. Go ahead and make that last push lottering to uh, actually make that so. Tough race early on. The front group has exploded. And it looks like we've just decided to sit up. It's out to three. Yeah, the gap's going very quickly out. And cream falls! Our second fall of the day already. Watering has largely fixed his position. Let's go ahead and send him on a water break for now. He won't have to... Shouldn't have to go back far. What the hell is he doing? You know how the water mechanics work in this game, right? <laughs> By this point, no reason for him to have gone most of the way back down the peloton. It's one of the reasons why you don't want your team spread out. One of the key reasons. Uh, because the watering task takes forever. Six and a half minutes to four riders. One right It was more than one rider got split off. But the one that was furthest back was caught by the peloton and then we sat up. The others came together and rode off into the sunset. Uh, Lottering still trying to finish water. Really? He's only dished out two so far. Finally done. Finally can set up. And I'm finally in position to make sense of what we have here today. Lottering has a 71 cobble rating. 70 flat. That cobble rating is going to be a big deal. So like Bosco, even though you can kind of sprint, sprint doesn't matter. It's, it's a punchy finish anyway. Uh, Shimwe is somebody you want to ride for. Especially with that plus three. Tillahun is definitely not going to do anything. I know Kareem's going to be one of our leaders. Roteus here is a 68, but he's not punchy. Lottering's definitely better, but Arab, while he's only a 66, he's got the climbing part for the end. So that'll be our other protected guy, and Lottering will be the solo guy. Gap's down to six minutes, so we seem to have picked a six-minute stabilization on those four. Actually, no coming down even further so we're just pulling them back already weird race so far ride hard set up big time almost come to a standstill and then go right back to riding hard <laughs> somebody's toying with us okay we're going through the big 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 gravel sectors now the very long ones uh, in real life, the field does start to split up a bit through here, generally. Alright, next phase, and this is where, in our version, it is going to start to split up fairly soon. And for this phase, we need to uh, get water. We could probably get away with this being the last time we do it. See? Look how far he went back. <laughs> Hardly at all. Hardly at all. Tillahun was already so far behind everyone, he could have literally just raised his hand at that exact moment and then ridden forward. Or at least fake it to make it. 
by dropping back a little bit, but he dropped back halfway through the peloton. Or just about. It was pretty stretched. And this gravel stuff's all like one star, so it's not bad. It's not hard on us. It's the undulation that's the bigger thing. But look at that tempo to chase those four. Down to three minutes. Down to two groups. 33 and 84. And we do have guys that are in this back group. Got up their effort to get back up there as they restore their positions. I can't go too fast for too long here. We will have to slow it down, but with this coming so late into the episode to get it in, I am having to play faster than I would like to. We have low expectations as it is, so over committing, going crazy, not necessary. Kill a hood. Okay, let's start to slow down. Times two, times two. We're not gonna slow down that much. Till hood's done. Uh, Kareem watering back up with the front group. There's 84. That's why I up his effort and that happens. Uh, Bosco, Bosco, go ahead and, or not. I was going to say go protect lottering. Mateus here. Gel. These guys hanging on much better. Much better climbers. And that's been the difference. Bosco still in between. There's just 30 in the peloton at this point. But it's largely coming back together. Huge sitting up right now. What's going on at the front? Ocho Brooks, Fresh Necked, Palace. And then a front four. And plenty of those could be considered favorites. That's not good. We don't seem to be chasing Gap. It's holding, though. It's not growing. Apparently, we are still chasing. Oh, Bosco with the fall. What? That's our third? No, that's the other race. Gosh, we just... But he did get back to lottering now. So, protect lottering. Look how fresh Kareem is, but he's just so far behind everything. I really do think this is probably it. We're down to three. Five off the front just got reeled in. We're down to the final four. There was favorites in this five. 30k to go. Rotes here hanging on, but Arab and Ashimwe are looking very strong. And absolutely contenders for a decent finish but without a high cobble rating that final cobbled climb is just too damn tough our group is disintegrating quick the next move we're gonna have to uh, try to put our foot down on it and now it's a front three, so now it's us and Goodwin. Uh, now we can put our foot down. 13k. We'll contribute 30 seconds ahead of the chase. Nearly making contact with the guys ahead of us. Definitely going the right direction here. And we do catch one of them. That was. Oh, I was trying to go backwards to see. The Cassin. And we make contact. With 7k to go. Uh, Arab is looking a little bit weaker. He's not as good cobble wise either. And not as punchy. So Arab, lead out a Shimwe. Arab bring us forward in the group. It's, a, it's just 6k to go, so we're going to gel up soon. That's why we're not contributing or sitting on. We're just trying to slowly move forward to prepare and then Arab's going to lead out a Shimwe 4.9k okay now that we've come forward we don't need to push too hard there's still one of these three riders is going to be caught those last two look like they might hang on they said there was a really strong group there that's Arietta that's Moss Adria already <laughs> the Asenta Katarina. Two star cobbled. 
It's only 700 meters, but it's the combination of the two. Shibwe gel now. Arab pushing on. 2k to go. 1.5k to go. Arab pushing. Now there's just one rider left. Now Arab sprinting to lead out a Shimwe. I want to hit the top. Then a Shimwe needs to sprint. If he sprints too early, it's not going anywhere. I think we've got a top 10, folks. Uh, one rider has won. Adria has already won the race. Three guys are going to finish ahead of us there. Madaway, Almeida, Davida. Arab's going to actually hang on for fifth place and a Shimwe seventh. That's a brilliant result under the circumstances of just how weak we are in general. Um, a Shimwe couldn't even go forward at all. Lottering is, uh, and you know, considering we lost Lottering and uh, Kareem there. Let's go Lottering. Let's go, we'll take these guys. I don't know what position we're fighting for. Top 20 has already been decided, but Lottering going forward there and 400 meters can finish it off. Four. 35th, 35th, minor placings now. Great result. Two in the top 10, one of them in the top five. Yeah, you'll absolutely take that, especially the way that field was splitting up. It was looking like we had missed out, but we caught those guys, got in and amongst it for the, uh, for the finish. And just one of that really strong breakaway and then equally so strong secondary breakaway and then an even stronger third late break, like under the circumstances, uh, getting top 25 would have been good. We got top five and a second guy in the top 10. I think that's a great result for us. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm the Kathleen Gimber. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.